Welcome on Travel Scott channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Java GDK 14 on Windows 10. So, first of all, let's check what do we have right now. To do it, let's go to Command Prompt and check if we have Java. We type Java version. So, we see that Java is not recognized. To install Java, let's open browser and we go to oracle.com. From the main page, let's open Products and choose Java. Then we will see button Download Java. Let's click it. So as you see, the latest version is 14 and we need to choose GDK Download. Let's click it. So let's scroll to Download parts and we see that we have Windows X64 installer is exe file. Let's download this file. Click review and accept Oracle license agreement and download this file. Okay, when it was installed, let's open this file. So here, as you see, we have a path where this GDK will be installed. So I would recommend you to change it by default. Let's click next. And now we see installation process. And we can click next steps to get some documentation, guides, but we don't need it right now. So, so we can close it. The next step we need to check if we have these files. So let's go to disk C, program files and we see folder java in this folder we have gdk14 and all our files what we need in bin you can see that we have all dll files and uh, exe files the next step we need to add uh, this path to system path how to do it let's go to settings system and here we need the type variable edit edit system environment variables we see in advanced tab we see environment variables button so we see system variables and we need to find the path and click edit we need to add this path to do it Let's copy as to bin folder. Copy. And uh, paste it here. So let's click OK. And we can add Java Home path. Java Home environment variable is not actually used by local installed Java runtime. Instead, other programs installed on a desktop computer that requires a Java runtime will query the operating system for the Java home variable. So let's add it. So we need just add a new one. It will be Java home uppercase with underscore and the variable name we can put the same but without bin. So pass to GDK and that's it. Let's click OK. Close everything. The next one to check we need to close this command prompt and open new one. Let's check. And as you see, we have the latest version Java 14. Also, let's check. And Java 14 as well. So now we have the latest Java on our computer. Thank you for watching.